in my the last video that I posted, I talked about how I'm never really sure what the Red Wigglers are going to really flock to. And this time, it looks like it was this gourd. I had this big gourd in there. I put this in uh, in January, and it's March now. And um, anyways, it they haven't done a whole lot to it yet. I can still feel there's a lot of meat. But uh, they have started working on it. Uh, and you can see this paper, the paper... Um, outer shell of the gourd is starting to um, come off and break down. Um, they leave, the the worms will leave the um, outer layer um, paper shell behind. Um, so anyways, there is a bunch of worms in here. They've kind of dug down and are just hanging out in here. And so I'm going to kind of peel back and try to get as many out as I can. Uh, they're going to try to retreat down pretty quick because they don't like the light. So let's see what's in here. I haven't opened this yet, so it's kind of a, a surprise. Um, and I'm going to grab something real quick. I'm going to grab a dish here so I can just put the worms in there. This is just a, uh, like a horse, horse dish. All right, so let's see what's down in here. All right, see if it's going to be what I was hoping for. All right, so that's the first, first grab. See how deep, far down then here they are. Any time that I am not wearing gloves, I sanitize my hands really good afterwards because this can be some stinky stuff. Um, it's always good to really to wear gloves and if you're not wearing gloves wash your hands really good afterwards um, so there's some more and there's some more down in there so they're yeah they're really working working on this All right, there's a nice little ball there. There is a lot of worms in here. And I think that's the most of them. So you can see they've the dark uh, stuff in there, they've deposited their castings uh, while they're feeding. Um, that's, that's what all this is in here. Uh, okay, so let's... Let's see what we got here. So that's a, what I could do if I had more time, I could put this outside and let the worms dive, dive down deeper. And then I could brush off all of the um, seeds and materials and stuff and just have a solid ball of worms. But I don't have that much time right now. That can take some time. But this is a pretty, pretty nice little ball of worms. Nice, nice ball of worms there. And uh, they are not afraid of close quarters. They don't, they like to intermingle and, and are, um, have no problem um, being real real close like this. All right, well, this is what I've been looking for and I finally found a nice worm ball. Um, and it's kind of different. Um, sometimes they prefer different foods over others. Um, 
I never really know what's going to be their their favorite for the month or the week. But this time it was a gourd. All right. Happy composting or happy vermicomposting.